it's a dream of any former athlete uh, to work for it's NLC. Um, it's uh, actually the first uh, mission that we call that I've been involved, Rio 2016. But um, just being involved with uh, athletes um, is just amazing. You know, you know that like all these medals that we're getting uh, now, we have 14 at the moment. Uh, you know, there is a little piece there that it's a little bit of your hands in it. So it, it's really good to be part of this story. The Brazil Olympic Committee just uh, brought a lot to to my my life. Uh, not only. Uh, working there for six years, but it gave me a lot of opportunities. I went to Greece, to Athens and Olympia, where the Olympics began, uh, representing Brazil. They chose me to go there, spent two weeks at the International Olympic Academy. I got a master's degree now because of my job also, traveling the world, talking about sports, doing the things I love, and it's, it's just been an amazing ride, and I hope, um, looking forward for the end of this Games, and hopefully uh, Tokyo 2020. We meet them all the time, but we kind of have a rule in the, in the Olympic Committee that you can't pretend that you're like, oh my God, it's, uh, it's Alisson, it's uh, Bruninho, uh, Marta, Neymar, you just gotta pretend it's another day at the office. Although you wanna take that picture, you gotta, you know, take a breath and, and just relax a little bit. And, but yeah, we, we hang out with them. Um, at the Olympic Games, uh, I'm in charge of the Family and Friends program. So we have 465 athletes, each athlete indicated for family or friends. So we have almost 2,000 family and friends of our athletes that we take care of them. We give them tickets. We have an area in Rio Centro, close to the Olympic Village, where they can meet. It's the only place they can meet. Um, we decided to do that so the parents don't try to get in the Olympic Village and disturb them. So we gave them a very private area with a lot of uh, comfort for them just to hang out and talk and have a reunion and just be totally focused for the, the matches that they, they have um, up front. We've been working so hard, um, we were talking before, um, sometimes we go to bed at 4 in the morning, wake up at 6, we don't really have time to think, but we really don't feel that, that, that tired when you wake up. and you know you're doing something for your athletes and then that your athletes can perform better. And definitely after we um, get done with the Olympics, it will be like, uh, it's very emotional for us former athletes to be part of this. Uh, you know, see like the kind of uh, sport event that we host hosting in our country. Um, seeing that like we are showing what Brazil, not only Rio, what Brazil really is. It's uh, people stereotype a little bit. You know, um, and I, I'm just uh, totally happy for the job that our, our government has been doing as far as uh, uh, visit Rio and all the things that Rio has to give. I'm very grateful to be part of this and just um, know that some of these athletes, coaches, been with us, passed through our programs, and now they're winning medals. And, you know, you'll, as, again, it's, I feel, you'll feel part of it. And that's why it's so hard to describe in a few words what it is to be part of an Olympic Games in a delegation um, where you know it, you're just there inside the Olympic Village eating with the athletes next to you sleeping in the village it's, um, it's just amazing. I think that after the Games it's gonna be kind of a shock but I mean we after on Sunday we start the next Olympic cycle looking for 2020 in Tokyo and getting all, all of our athletes ready to compete and get a better result um, in 2020.